Welcome STEM enthusiasts! Scientix has been busy this spring. We have created 30 videos with resources for teachers, we have trained 200 new Scientix ambassadors, and we organized the most successful STEM discovery campaign with over 360,000 participants. Plus, we have started bringing teachers again to the to do science projects workshops in the future classroom lab. Today's Scientix TV episode is brought to you by those teachers. Okay. Science project workshops in the Future Classroom Lab are a great opportunity for teachers to exchange, collaborate, learn about resources and the new, any new tools that can be used in education. The teachers that came for the science project workshops in April followed a number of workshops and decided which workshops and resources they found most interesting and are be, will be sharing them with you throughout today's Scientix TV episode. The topic of sustainability, for example, is something that teachers are finding more and more interesting and it's not only for STEM classes. We have today non-STEM teachers telling us how they use STEM resources. Have you ever heard your students say that tuna grows on trees? Or how many of them think that milk is producing big fridges? Have they ever had a picnic in their own cities? Or, well, just a single normal picnic in their entire life? Are you looking for inspiration to find a solution? Turn to nature. Are you looking for support to improve the quality of your life? Turn to nature. It's time to introduce you to NBS in education. Nature-based solutions are a clever way to work with nature and improve the quality of life in our community. On the MBS platform, you can find a lot of resources to implement your amazing ideas at school. I teach maths in the middle school and I like to create virtual tours of green areas in my city. I teach English at high school and my students just adore to learn about green areas in foreign countries. I teach social studies at primary school and my kids love to find ways to take care of their environment. I teach Italian at middle school and I love to participate with my students to volunteer projects and find inspiration from nature. I teach technology in a middle school and I like to work on renewable energies with my students. You see, it's easy. Why don't you join us? See, See you, you on scientists.eu. I couldn't have said that better myself. Another topic applicable for STEM and non-STEM subjects is bioeconomy. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, teacher. Do you know what a bioeconomy is? Well, I don't know. Let me think. Uh, maybe life and uh, money together? Yes, of course. They can fit well together good service energy produced from plants and animals can run a um, circular economy. I don't get you. Give me an idea. You know, bio-based materials, uh, biotechnology, and don't forget about the sound, by mimicry. For biomass and bio-based products, uh, let me show you some examples. Uh, you can see woods, biofuels, uh, and nature inspires uh, arch architectures such as uh, uh, Bosco Verticale in, uh, in Milano. Oh, I know it. You know, buildings uh, with uh, green walls uh, and not only architects, but also uh, technicians. Um, few people know that the uh, uh, Mestral was inspired by um, the, um, the fruits of the Bardock plant to make up Velcro. Really? It's amazing. <laughs> And uh, um, look at uh, these uh, wine turbines uh, that uh, are inspired by the seeds of the maple plants. I think that bioeconomy will play a very important central role in the ch in challenge facing our planet in coming years. Yeah. Pollution reduction, uh, use of sustainable resources, uh, earthy soils uh, and foods for all, are only few examples of what a new generation can do for achieving the goals of 2030 agenda and uh, let our, t our students uh, um, observe the nature and take inspiration from it because new careers and jobs come from new attitudes. 
And so join the community of EU teachers and, for example, GB, Gen B project about educating and empowering the new generation on bioeconomy. And remember, everything you can imagine, nature has already created. You can find the links to the MBS Edu World and Gen B projects in the description. From sustainability to STEM careers, Science Project Workshops help teachers exchange, even during coffee breaks. Hello! Hi! Hi. How are you doing? Hey. What is next? Well, you know, I'm having a seminar with my students. I have hmm. called uh, uh, a mechanical engineer, and she's going to discuss with them what it's like working in the industry of uh, self-driving vehicles. Uh, there was a call from the STEM Alliance Project, and I took the opportunity of inviting her. Do you know of this project? No, no. Well, it yes. was created to address the issue of a uh, shortage of STEM professionals in Very Europe. good. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, we, you know that uh, not many students following STEM yeah. subjects yeah. and yeah. STEM careers. So I thought that a seminar like that would be a good opportunity for them to develop an interest in STEM. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. great. I mean, think about the pace of development in STEM careers. I mean, how can you keep up as a, as a teacher and then the network in the industry? I mean, what can we do about it? How do we go about it? But for example, you can begin in, uh, to read uh, webinars, MOOC, <coughs> online. And um, I think that is very important for me uh, that uh, industrial world, school and uh, institution uh, work together sweetly yeah, sure. to, to help uh, schools yeah. and to develop uh, STEM career guidance in school. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a website? Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, oh, it's very easy. You go to stemalliance.eu and you can check everything out. Great. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. A lot of things. Thank Good. you. This collaboration of schools with industry, governments, researchers, and local communities is the concept behind open schooling. This collaboration brings the world to the classroom and takes the students out to the world. Let's hear from this next group of teachers who also think it's a lot of fun. So we, I prepared this big um, show about photosynthesis, but you have to use your book, you have to go to page 25 and the, the please. please. Okay, guys, so this is a vegetal cell. You can see the cell membrane here. We have also the nucleus and the, the mitochondria here. And uh, you can see there is also the Golgi apparatus and the endoplasmatic reticulum. Hi, Raffaella. Oh, hi, what are you Come doing? Here. I have a new technology here for you today. This is a solar tree and it has panels. And you can but it was use a chapter of the book. You, you can you use it, it for, you can use it for explaining uh, the use of life to the kids. It's not for me, it's not for me. Here. No, 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 analogic, I'm so analogical. STEAM Learning Ecologies is an EU-funded project. It aims at developing, engaging, open schooling-enabled science learning path. It uses formal and informal learning environments focusing on inclusiveness. In this framework, individuals acquire increasing levels of awareness over their own learning and gain experience. Several collaborative partnerships and networks are created to optimize opportunities across a range of institutions and organizations. This requires educators and organizations to think behind collective action at the network level can provide opportunities and address inequalities. The project creates the conditions for bringing together all the actors, formal, non-formal, informal education providers, enterprises and civil society, giving all actors space and motivation to take a central role. It's challenging. It's effective. It's engaging. It is inclusive. It's fun. <laughs> if uh, you're new, to open schooling, the next video share uh, a few resources to get you started. Hi, dear. How 
are you today? Today, today, I'm bored. I'm exhausted. Always the same things. Always these four walls. And the students, they sleep on their desks. Have you got a solution, please? Yes, I suggest you something to make positive change in teaching beyond school walls. And what is it? It's a magic. Let me show you. You edit, mm -hmm. open space uh, navigator. Yes. And you can find here a lot of uh, resources. Oh, really? I can see that. It's really magical. You're right. Yes, you can find also activity that you can do outdoor. <gasps> I love it. Thank you so much. You are an angel. Let me buy you a pizza. <laughs> Let's go outdoors. Oh, thank you so much. Cooperation is really important. Thank you. Like she said, cooperation is very important. If you would like to come to the Future Classroom Lab and collaborate with other teachers, and who knows, maybe appear on one of our Scientix TV episodes, sign up to the Scientix Digest to be informed of future opportunities. That's it for today. If you liked seeing teacher prepared videos on Scientix TV, leave a comment on YouTube or through our different social media channels. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.